It is dessert time and the weather outside is just cool enough for it. My name is Vanessa and this month I've been sharing a crock pot recipe every single week and today I am sharing a dessert so I hope you've got your sweet tooth ready I did a poll on Instagram and dessert was the answer quite a bit so I knew I needed to share at least one this month so let's get right into this crock pot pecan pie Okay, so today we are actually going to make dessert in the crock pot and I am super excited about this one. Not only for this month, um, just because I love cooking in my crock pot when it's colder, even though most people like to do it during the summertime because they don't want to use their ovens, I've just been loving to make things that just warm you up when it starts to get cold outside. So we're gonna make some dessert, sounds super yummy, and this would be perfect for November with all the baking and Christmas time really, all the baking time that you need to use your oven for, being able to make certain things in the crock pot is a, a lifesaver. So for this recipe, you're only going to need one pie crust. I did go ahead and get a box that has two just so I have an extra one, but these freeze fairly well. Three eggs, one cup of sugar. I am using a sugar substitute, but you use what works best for you and your family. Now I am switching up an ingredient. So normally for pecan pie, you use dark corn syrup, but I am trying to just switch out a few ingredients to make it a little bit on the healthier side. So I am going to use honey instead of dark corn syrup. This is a good substitute for the syrup. And then I'm just noticing I pulled the flour down because it was right next to the sugar, but you do not need flour for this recipe. So just ignore that. Okay, I'm going to use a little bit of salt, about an eighth of a teaspoon, along with a third cup of butter. I am going to be melting this. You guys will see that. One teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then I am going to chop up one cup of pecans, and then I'm gonna leave about half a cup of the pecans whole because I am going to use them for two different parts of the recipe, but that is it. Not a lot of ingredients for this pecan pie in your crock pot. Okay, so you are going to generously spray your crock pot. You don't want the pie crust to stick. Now it may end up sticking a little bit, but this will definitely help. So I'm probably gonna do like two go arounds. Okay, spread your pie crust down as best you can. Mine ripped, so that's why it looks like this. I kind of just, you know fixed it as best as I could. I did opt to raise it a little bit on the sides, just like a normal pie you would do. So I've got that going on. And now I'm going to mix everything together except for the pecans. So I've got my melted butter, three eggs, one cup of sugar, just a little bit of salt, one teaspoon of vanilla, and I'm using about half a cup of honey instead of the dark corn syrup. And again, we're just gonna mix all of those together. Okay, now that those ingredients are all mixed together, last I'm adding the one cup of chopped pecans. Now you could go ahead and add the one and a half cups, but I'm gonna save half a cup um, of unchopped, just whole pecans, and I'm going to put them on the top. You guys will see that in just a second. Okay, once everything is mixed, you are just going to dump it, kind of spreading it all around. And I feel like that is a lot of pecans, but I am gonna go ahead and just place a few on the top, well more than a few. I'm just gonna cover the whole top with the whole pecans. Okay, there is my pecan pie uncooked in the crock pot. Now we are going to put the lid on and we are going to cook it on high for two and a half to three hours. I'm gonna check it at two and a half. 
Okay, two and a half hours was just right. I think if I let it go any longer, the crust will start to get a little too hard. But you guys, this is so good. I just used a spatula. You could still even cut it into triangular pieces like a pie. But here's the first piece that I cut out and it is super yummy. I actually love the honey in it. It tastes slightly different than pecan pie, but really, really good with that instead of the dark corn syrup. Plus it is, you know, just a little bit better for you by making that substitution, but it is not needed. So I am definitely loving the pecan pie in the crock pot. I wish I had some ice cream on hand because that would go perfect on top of this pecan pie. If you guys liked this recipe, please give it a big thumbs up. If you are looking forward to more crock pot recipes, hit that subscribe button and the bell so you're notified when I upload the next one. Next week, I'm going to be sharing three freezer meals that you can do in your crock pot. So getting back into a few freezer meals. So I hope you guys are looking forward to that. Otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow, Saturday, with my last grocery haul in this location. So you're definitely not going to want to miss how much I spent on groceries before we move. The final one in this location. So I hope to see you guys in the comments tomorrow in that video. Bye.